Hello, Lewis with Element Inspection here, again filming another YouTube video for you guys. Today we are going to cover the topic, should you rinse the dishes before you put them in, or should you just kind of scrape the chunks off and then put them in the dishwasher? I know this is a huge household debate, uh, and you'll have to wait to the end of the video to find the answer. I hate when people say that. The answer is, scrape the dishes, put them in dirty. Reason being, two parts. Number one, you save a lot of water because these are designed to actually use just a few gallons per cycle and clean the dishes thoroughly. Number two, the soap that you put in here needs something to attach to. So if your dish is extremely clean and the soap comes up, hits the dish and just rolls right off. If it has a little bit of dirt on it, the soap will attach to the food, the dirt, the chunks, whatever it is, and it'll do much more to the plates in the cleaning. If you keep them super clean when you put them in here and you put a lot of soap in there, you're going to get a lot of soap scum and water residue on your plates. If you don't do that and you just leave them kind of dirty and put them in here, the soap goes through its whole process and then the rinse cycle dissipates and it works much, much better. Okay, so with the biggest controversial issue out of the way, and now we know you put the dishes in dirty and you don't clean them thoroughly before you put them in, we'll move on to a couple little tips and tricks with the dishwasher. Everything in a dishwasher designs for a specific reason. So there's cuts and angles and movement in all of these for very specific reasons, not just throwing things in at random. There's a little slot or a little angle right here, and that's for your cups. They always collect a little bit of water when they're perfectly standing up like this in a dishwasher. But if you put them here, they're tilted in at an angle, and as they're draining, it'll drain off that edge right there and go down and drain out of the dishwasher. If you put them in perfectly flat, somewhere you can find a way to put them in flat, it won't drain like that. So look at your dishwasher uh, grates and the way they're designed, and you can start putting things in specifically so that they drain so you don't get that big splash of water when you empty the dishwasher. With the utensils, it's pretty obvious how you should put them in, I think. Just drop them in, but sometimes you do this. The, the spoons are spooning, people drop them in. Those aren't gonna clean. Flip them over, put one in that way, put one in this way, and still put the exact same amount in the same little container, and your problem's resolved and they'll clean themselves. Washers have a filter in them, or 99% of them, I would say. So let me move this. This is a Bosch dishwasher. It's a little bit dirty because the coffee and everything just drains down and lands here. That's okay for a day or two. It's not going to smell that bad. Um, most dishwashers have a way to clean them. So you can flip that over and pull this little guy out. And this is a catch basket right here. This one's decently clean. Sometimes you'll see debris inside, sometimes on the outside. But you can see the stuff that it has collected in there. Those are the non-dissolvable or water-soluble items. Those are the things that don't actually go down the drain. And you can see it, a little bit has piled up here. So about once every few months or so, or a few hundred washes, you'll come in here and remove that and clean it. And clean it in the sink, put it down the disposal. Essentially, the reason why you can put dirty dishes in a dishwasher is because 99% of the food we eat is completely water-soluble, and hot, hot water mixed with soap breaks it down into very fine particles. It can drain through a grate just like that. The few little things that can't drain through it will get stuck in there, maybe bone, maybe seed, something like that, and they'll remain in there. You take it out, you clean it, put it all back together, and run your dishwasher. Whatever side of... Hello, Murphy. Can you sniff around? Whatever side of the argument you're on, I suspect you'll take this video home to show your spouse and you can blame me for creating a bit of a fight in the household. Uh, with all that said, you're going to say, well, what gives Lewis the authority to say that? Uh, before I owned a home inspection company, I did a tremendous amount of remodel work and we installed, no exaggeration, hundreds of different appliances. I worked with uh, appliance salesmen, I worked with appliance repairmen, I worked with a number of different uh, people in the appliance world. And they all say essentially the same thing. These things are designed to take dirty dishes. Maybe not the cheapest, oldest one from the 1980s, but anything built in the last 20 years can take very dirty dishes and clean them thoroughly with minimal water using all the soap you put in them. Eco-friendly, however you want to say it. Uh, that's the proper way to do it. So if you found this interesting, give me a like, thumbs up, whatever it is. Uh, hit the subscribe button. And then next week, if you're lucky, I'll explain why opening a microwave door before the timer goes off will make it die early in its life. Thanks for watching.